Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground for the collective, darling. So this is really like some energy of um, somebody's spell work did not work. The spell work did not work. And they wondering like why it didn't work on you. This person was wishing I got wish death upon me. This person was wishing ill. Okay. Because you are... Um, you are a person that um, knows who the fuck you are, right? You know who you are. You, you're not a person that's going to just let anything just waver your way of your feelings. Somebody's not going to be able to talk you out of some shit that you've been able to see for yourself. Period. You're a person that gets shit done. You get shit done. If you say you're going to do something, if you go after it, you're going to do it. And this person had a big ego. This person had a big ego and they didn't want to let that shit go. So it's like they were wishing ill upon you because they didn't want to, they didn't um, want to see you do good. They knew that you were succeeding. They knew that you were breaking free from type of spell work because you didn't realize that this, and I have a mother figure. So you didn't realize that this mother figure was putting the spell work on you, talking down to you, wishing these like horrible things, right? But it's your good life. Welcome to the good life. All right, this, this it was just a shit show. This person, their whole life is a shit show. It's like they always have an obstacle. They always going through some type of shit. And it's definitely like because they put that, that that's that motherfucking law of attraction, right? This person don't never get, get back. Get your shit together. Put your shit together. This person always got some shit going on. They And they could be old as I don't know what. They, they could be old as I don't know what, and they still acting very petty, very immature, very childish. This person has some healing to do. They have some, some past life healing to do, some childhood trauma to do, some Latin mentality healing to do. They're, they need to seek professional help. You think they're lying? And then get the fuck outside, move your ass. So this person was so hyper-focused on you that that's all they could do. They, that's all they could do is look at you and wish ill towards you. And they, they did a whole bunch of lying to do that. And you you thought that something was always uneasy. You thought that it was lying. And guess what? They were. Period. This person didn't want shit good for you. They didn't want shit good for you. They love to see you, like, trying to figure out how the fuck going. How to, like, like it amazed they ass, right? How they, like, you was like, they put all the spell work on you. And then you still made it out of it, right? You still was able to make something, make it shake, right? And this person, like, damn, why wasn't that? They didn't know how protected you are. Right? And were. And always will be. They didn't know how many different layers of you there are. This person may see some shit that's very uh, surface. But now they're definitely sorry. I'm sorry. They're definitely sorry. They they know it's some deep-rooted some shit within themselves. They see that you are a golden child. They see that you are chosen. And they see that you cut ties with their ass too. You had to cut ties with them because you realized that you had to go ahead and slow down. And, and take a time to look to see what the fuck it really is, right? To see what the fuck it really is. And this doesn't happen to be a mother figure. I'm, I'm Because I just got like a, somebody like a play sister or something like that. You know how we do. We have our, our play relatives. But it's definitely like could be either one. So just take it. And it's like this person was waiting on it. They was just waiting. It's waiting. It says it's not yet time because it's never was going to be time for, for that spell work to work on you. Never. Please. And while this person was just in their lower vibrational putting uh, energy, putting the spell work on you, guess what you started doing? You started putting your boundaries up. You started understanding pages towards that this person was very deceitful. This person just wanted to spy on you, be very manipulative and be very clever. And you got into your shit, King of Pinnacles. You you understood that um, you had to get into your own shit. You had to understand and how to had to take control of your own motherfucking destiny, right? You have the control of your own destiny. And then we have Five of Pinnacles. 
So yeah, you like, okay, you want to play games with me? Uh, you want to sit here and put a spell work on me? All of this shit? Guess what? It's a missed opportunity for you because I'm deuces. I'm, I'm out I'm out of here. I see who you are. And since you want to show me who you are and I see who you are very clearly, then let me step the fuck away from you, right? Transition, death. Get away from that shit. You said I had to end from this. I had to go ahead and let go because whenever you're letting go of some shit, you're making way for new. Letting go of that, that crusty, dusty, and musty shit that you, you definitely know is no good for you. You're making way for this new energy, this, this very much so... Very much so energy of abundance, right? And then right here, judgment in reverse. So this person, it was always somebody else's fault. If you call their ass out, guess what? They're going to always have a motherfucking excuse. They always got some shit to say back. It's like a person that is like, um, they, they, don't, they refuse to examine themselves. This person always want to blame somebody else. They, they always, it's always somebody else's fault. They can never take, uh, they can never just take in what the fuck you're saying. It's always going to have to be a response. And you can go ahead and respond to your motherfucking self because you walked away from that shit and you manifested new. So they just look stupid. Go ahead and sit there and talk to yourself and try to explain some shit to yourself in your head. That's what they doing now. Trying to explain some shit because they see you living your ten of cups. And that's the motherfucking truth, Ace of Swords right here. They see you living your Ten of Cups, your happy family, your satisfaction, you being aligned with what you truly are supposed to do. We have temperance here. You having that balance, you having that moderation. And then with the moon, any type of fears, any type of anxiety, any type of people that betrayed you, guess what? You letting go of that shit. And you, you understand that fear is an illusion. Like, you're not, uh, you're not ashamed of anything that you've gone through. You understand that that could be somebody else's lesson, Right? You understand that following your intuition is going to lead you very far. You're very enthusiastic. You're very passionate. You're very friendly. Two of Pentacles. You understand um, having priorities. Having our priorities motherfucking straight is very important. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So it's definitely like, because of this, because you understood to follow your intuition, because you understood this person didn't want shit for you, but to see you struggle, uh, but to see you like... Like, the the wish these bad things on you because they were in some lack mentality and they couldn't get their shit together. It's, it's definitely like you just rising higher. Like a, a, fe a phoenix riding through the ashes, period. Very down to earth. You're very financially responsible. You're very business minded. And you understand the power of balancing what the fuck, like your masculine and feminine, feminine energy and what the fuck is important, period. Like, you, you don't got no fake phony part bone in your body. You ain't putting on no show for no motherfucking body. You're just going to be your true authentic self. And this person don't know how to do that. And they see you winning. They regret. We got um five of cups and six of wands. They regret doing you like this. They're very disappointed in themselves for fucking up. And now they see you winning. And they see gifts being given to you. These ten of pentacles and then the... The Ace of Wands, when they stuck in some petty conflict and stuck in the same situation, not growing, and you're constantly growing because you understand the power of growing and le learning, right? You, you're having some type of establishment, some type of generational wealth from breaking these generational curses and not staying stuck and not being fake and phony and living through who you like, through the most high, through the most high, because people can put on false, phony face, faces all day, like they living through the most high, but it's, they're nothing but a demon. But you understood and you saw how to see through that shit. And you're creating this new cycle. And you have these new cycles in front of you. All right. It seems wonderful. It is wonderful. It's great. It's marvelous. All right. It's absolutely marvelous. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Because whatever you're doing, you're making their demons mad. And they're not succeeding because you're very protected. So keep on doing what you're doing. Fuck the haters. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. The information will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.